today on Be Something Wonderful, living in the end, what it really means. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I've heard from a few of you, and one of you said, Tom, I've been, I've been imagining my wish fulfilled. I've been living in the end, but it's been two and a half years now, and I'm still not with my SP. And then, I, and then I heard today, someone else wrote on the channel that it's been three years, and I just wanna start all over. I wanna go back to neutral. <laughs> and so what's the deal? What does living in the end really mean? Well, today, guys, we're gonna unpack this and more. Here's what I wanna say, guys. Living in the end is in, in creating your own reality, right? The manifesting your wish fulfilled begins and ends in the end. Hear this, that's what living in the end is. The creation process begins in the end and ends in the end, right? Linear time is irrelevant. Hear this, let's unpack this a little bit more. Stop judging your reality, your reality, by what you reap, but rather by what you sow. That's living in the end. That's beginning in the end and living in the end, right? As opposed to looking, oh, what did I reap yet? Oh, it's been, it's been one year. It's been two months. It's been three months. Still nothing yet. You're judging your reality. You're measuring it by what you reap rather than what you sow, what your inner state is, what you're being, feeling, thinking, and assuming within. Hear this. It's done. When you assume it, when you declare it, when you claim it within, when you make that an inner reality, it's real. Hear this, it's an inner reality, it's done, it's real. The seed of your desire or intention contains all that is needed to grow into a full manifestation of 3D reality. Nothing else is required. It's like, like all the spiritual greats say, when you plant the seed, just let it grow, let infinite intelligence take over. Maybe you gotta add a little sunlight, a little water, whatever, but mainly it knows what to do. <laughs> the seed knows what to do. Let infinite intelligence do the rest. Wanting or needing the seed to grow, hear this, makes no sense, right? Saying, well, it's been, you know, that, that pumpkin seed, it's been two days and I don't see anything. Hear this, right? And, then, and they go, I want you to grow. I need you to grow. That pushes against it. That means you're gonna start digging it up. You're gonna start messing with it, right? We've talked about this, but let's hit this in a different angle. Creating your own reality and manifesting your desires begins and ends in the end. That's what it means to live in the end, right? The state of fulfillment is where you begin and it's also where you end, right? You can't get there from being in a state of non-fulfillment. Hear this, you can't get there. You've gotta be in that fulfillment within, right? You've gotta, beginning at the end makes linear time irrelevant. If you're looking at time and wondering a month went by, two months went by, three years went by, this means you're trapped in linear time. You're not in a state, a state of, hear this, this is big. A state of wish fulfilled is timeless. Hear this loud and clear. The state of fulfillment is a state beyond time and space. Whoa, this is big. And if you're thinking of linear time, if you're thinking about linear time, other than to manage yourself in the 3D world, you're not in a state of fulfillment. You're trapped in that core belief that linear time is real and that you've got to do things or make something happen or something hasn't happened yet. That's big. When you imagine a firm, visualized script, whatever it is, to try to make something happen, these processes, you're assuming, you're believing it hasn't happened yet. All of those processes, hear this, guys. Hear this today loud and clear. All of those processes, affirming, visualizing, imagining, all of them are great. All of them, though, are to create the inner experience of already having it right now. It's to create the inner experience. It's not to make something happen out there in the 3D world. It's to make something happen within. Hear this. What a huge distinction. Because you're looking at the outer world, you're looking for the reapings. When the reapings are within, 
what you're sowing within. That's all those processes to create the inner experience of having it already and having it right now. It's an inner manifestation. Why? Because when you do that, then the outer manifestation is law. It must happen. It's law. That's big. Let's unpack this a little bit more. Instead of imagining, visualizing, affirming as a means to some end, uh, in other words, as a means to make something manifest in the 3D world, enjoy the process as an end in itself. Hear this. Imagining, affirming, visualizing is the end because it's creating the inner manifestation. Enjoy the inner state of fulfillment. Wow, that's big. I'm going to read that again. Instead of imagining, visualizing, and affirming as a means to some end of making something manifest in the 3D world, enjoy the process as the end. That's living in the end. Creating the experience of conviction, relief, and fulfillment. That's big. That, my friends, is living in the end. Make gratitude the gratification you are looking for. Hear this. I, I want my desire. I need to see it in 3D manifestations or I will not be gratified. Make gratitude of that inner state, of that inner feeling, that inner fulfillment. Make that the gratification you're looking for and then everything must be added on to you. The kingdom of heaven is yours. You've got the key now, right? Persist and here's another thing. Some of you talked about on the channel today, one of you commented on persistence that everyone's telling you to persist, persist. Well, they're right, but what does persistence mean? Let's really get at this today. Let's define it. So, we, so we're really clear on this. Persistence is not about maintaining your state of wish fulfilled in linear time. Hear this, this is huge. It's not about maintaining a state of wish fulfilled in linear time, believing if you hold on long enough, it will manifest in 3D. Right? That's why you're looking at, oh my God, it's been two years, it's been three years, it's been three months, it's been 10 years, whatever it is, because you're, you're thinking persistence is about struggling to hold on to that state of wish fulfilled in linear time so something will happen in 3D. Rather, what is persistence? Persistence is about making your state of wish fulfilled and your inner reality a natural part of your state of being without any reference to time. Whoa, hear this again. This is timeless, guys. This is, persistence is about making your state of wish fulfilled and new reality a natural part of your state of being without any importance to time. It is a timeless state. It is the state where miracles happen, right? That's the state where God does his thing, right? That's where, that's where, that's where infinite brings you everything. That's where it's all created. Wow, that's big. So how do you do it then? How do you make fulfillment a natural part of who you are or your state of being in that state of timelessness, right? It already is. That's the secret behind the secrets, behind the secret. It already is. You already are. It already is your natural state. You've got to let it unfold. You're not letting it unfold. You're covering it up with linear concerns. Hear this with linear goals and linear measurements and, and looking for reapings in the linear world, right? If you want more love, love what you already have and who you already are. Feel that within. If you want more money, be grateful for the money you have and the abundance already in your life, right? If you want to shift to a new reality, feel that reality is already manifest in that timeless state. That's how it's done. Allow your desire, right? Allow your desire, your new reality, your new version of yourself to dominate, to dominate your consciousness so much that the actual 3D manifestation becomes uneventful. Hear this. Let that new state, that new version, that new you, that new reality, that feeling of wish fulfilled, that gratitude, that relief, let feel that so strongly that the 3D manifestation is just the next logical step. It's uneventful. That, my friends, is what living in the end really means. 
I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos, and guys, share our channel with your friends and family. Get the message out because that's how we get our message out. Hit us up and follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I always love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.